Yo, yo, and hello, my name is Lydia, and on today's episode of my 25 pound yo yo, we will be talking about insulin resistance. And is it the cause of obesity? Or is it the reason why people can't lose weight? Well, there's a lot to learn here, so let's watch this next clip and then come back and discuss. What is insulin? Insulin is a hormone excreted by the pancreas that allows glucose into your cells. Insulin resistance is a medical condition where cells become resistant to insulin and thus cannot allow glucose in. With elevated insulin, glucose, aka blood sugar, is also elevated, causing signals to the brain to eat more. Your body doesn't need more food, but you feel like you do since the nutrients in the food you were given were not properly absorbed, and excess glucose gets stored as fat. Excess visceral fat blocks insulin from doing its job and letting glucose into cells. So does insulin resistance make you gain weight no matter what you eat? No, it always comes back to calories in versus calories out. Insulin resistance makes you want to consume more calories than you need, which results in weight gain. Daily exercise can lower blood sugar. And it doesn't need to be intense exercise. 30 minutes of walking broken into three 10 minute walks can be greatly beneficial. Lose weight by creating a calorie deficit, meaning eat less than you burn. Wait, didn't you just say that insulin resistance makes you feel hungrier? So how am I supposed to eat less? Follow a low sugar diet to limit the amount of glucose released into your bloodstream and eat less often so there are fewer episodes of glucose released into your blood throughout the day. Insulin resistance can be a vicious cycle. Excess visceral fat can make you insulin resistant and then your brain makes you want to eat more and when you eat more than you burn, you gain weight. But if you exercise and eat in a calorie deficit, you can lose weight and become insulin responsive again. So insulin allows your cells to absorb glucose. And when you are insulin resistant, your blood sugar goes up, sending signals to your brain that you need to eat. And then you excrete more insulin and the excess glucose not absorbed by your cells gets stored as fat. And this cycle goes round and round and round, making your weight go up and up and up. This happens when you have high levels of visceral fat. And the visceral thing is the important part. This is the fat around your organs, not the subcutaneous or pitchable fat just under the skin. So you can actually look healthy on the outside and still have lots of visceral fat on the inside. Heck, my boyfriend looks very fit, but when he gained weight a few years ago, you could still see his abs. But the truth was his internal fat was pushing his abs out. Likewise, people that are obese that have low visceral fat are less likely to become insulin resistant. Think of a pear-shaped body where most of the weight is in the butt and the thighs. Those people have far less risk of developing insulin resistance than someone that is more apple-shaped with all their weight around their middle. So if you become insulin resistant, does that mean that you're just going to go round and round in the circle and continue to gain weight? No, there is a way to fight it. I received a comment a little while ago that I should educate myself on insulin resistance because obesity isn't a choice for everyone. So I've done my research and here's the video. The parallel in the comment that was made was that an alcoholic can get rid of bottles and a smoker can get rid of cigarettes, but you can't expect people not to eat. And that's true, but not eating isn't the answer. It's what you eat. And since we are comparing obesity to an addiction, you can get rid of all the processed sugars in your diet. By following a low sugar diet with emphasis on foods with high satiety factor, you can lose weight. Whole grains, proteins, and fats can squash hunger and not spike blood sugar, which will stop the signals being sent to your brain to eat more. Daily exercise is also important. Just increasing activity to 30 minutes a day can help lower blood sugar, which will also assist in breaking free of the insulin resistance cycle. And when you do lose enough visceral fat, your body will become insulin responsive again. 
So is insulin resistance the cause of obesity? No, it's likely that obesity caused the insulin resistance. But remember, that's not in every case. You can appear to have a healthy body, but still be insulin resistant. Insulin resistance alone does not make you gain weight. It makes you feel hungrier when you aren't, and then you eat more, and then the excess calories make you gain weight. Insulin is not a magic hormone that causes weight gain no matter what you eat. So is insulin resistance a reason for not losing weight? Again, no. Insulin resistance makes it more difficult to lose weight, but not impossible. If you cut down on processed high sugar foods, your body will be more satisfied with the food you have and you'll be less likely to overeat. And also if you eat less frequently, there will be less glucose released into your bloodstream throughout the day. By no means when I say eat less frequently do I mean starve yourself. I'm just saying take three meals a day and get your calories three times rather than in six small meals throughout the day. In fact, intermittent fasting could also be a good approach for someone who is insulin resistant just to cut down on the number of times that glucose is released into the bloodstream. So in summary, insulin resistance does play a role in weight gain and ease of weight loss, but it's not the reason for obesity. It always comes back to calories in versus calories out. Now, I don't want this message to diminish how difficult it is to lose weight when you are insulin resistant. I am not trying to be callous here at all. I'm just trying to present the facts that insulin resistance by itself does not prevent a person from losing weight. It does make it more difficult because their brain is always telling them they are hungry. However, if you choose the right foods and implement daily exercise, you can combat it. And as your body loses the visceral fat, your cells will become more insulin responsive and it will become easier over time. But alas, this is my 25 pound yo-yo and not insulin resistance makes you fat. So until next time, yo-yo and let's go.